it's a sad day. The XPS 15 that I loved so dearly, Dell's killing it. It's not the only one too. The XPS 17, the 13, the 13, two and one, all dead because they've got some brand new laptops right here at CES 2024 here in Vancouver. We have the XPS 13 plus, which isn't new, but it's 13 now, the 14, the 16. But what I want to show you first, because they have somehow improved a laptop and made it make more sense in a new generation, it's the Alienware M16. Over the last while, I haven't been totally sure what Alienware's been doing, because they have just been chasing the maximum performance without really thinking about, can your laptop fit in your bag? But here they have. Look at the size difference between the old M16 and the new one. That is the difference between it fitting in your backpack or not. In a very strange twist, this brand new Alienware M16 will actually be slower than the outgoing model. So this right here gets up to a 4070, whereas the old one got up to a 4090. But what they have done with that drop in power and thermal requirements is make just a laptop you actually want to use. There's just so much usability about this new laptop that just makes so much sense. Like, look at this right here on the old one, the palm rest, put my hands here and they're just falling off of the edge. It is not comfortable to type for a while, even though they have some of the best switches in the game, whereas now new one, wow, look at that. My hands are comfortable. <laughs> or maybe you're going into a business meeting or something like that and you don't want to be all gamerified. Watch this right here, one button. There we go, stealth mode, wow. It almost looks like an old gen XPS, look at that. Now I did say we have less power than last gen, but that does not mean this thing is slow by any means. We have a total of 175 watt system power and that 4070 can gobble down a whole 142 itself. For the CPU, we get an Intel Core 9 185H and we also have quite a decent selection of IO. So on this side right here, we have 2.5 gig networking, headphone microphone combo jack, can't take that for granted. Power input here, HDMI 2.1. Display port, this one right here uses Optimus to be wired directly to the GPU. Thunderbolt 4, and then two type A's, right where uh, if you plug in a mouse, it'll get in your way, that's too bad. And an SD card reader. It is the micro one, so that's a little bit smaller than the last gen, but they say this is the fastest micro SD card reader that you can put in a laptop, so don't complain too much. Opening up the new M16 is nice and easy as it was in the past, just a couple Phillips head screws and you are in. And in here we can see that, well, uh, you had a fair bit less stuff than the old one. So the old one had four fans, seven heat pipes. Now we are down to two fans and four heat pipes, but they said these fans are quite a bit larger, which uh, yeah, the fan is quite a bit bigger. So they now have 94 fan blades here up from 79 in the old model, which is how they can get away with not quite as many heat pipes. And that is how they have been able to maintain good thermal performance in this right here. Also, we still have excellent upgradability. So two sodiums right there, two SSDs right here, your Wi-Fi card there, and we have a 90 watt hour battery that is hopefully going to be getting you quite a bit of time away from the wall. Yeah, Ryoshi is all good, just like the display options. In keeping with just kind of giving you what you want, there is only a single option and it is the best option. Quad HD, 16 by 10, 240 Hertz. That's, well, exactly what I want on a gaming display and a laptop. Just like I want to tell you about our sponsor. Thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring our CES 2024 coverage. If you're shopping for your next PC build or just new components in general, make sure to check out Be Quiet. Their premium products include PC cases, power supplies, water and air cooling, and fans for desktop PCs. With roots in Germany, they've been in the industry for more than 20 years and specialize in making high quality parts that are nearly inaudible. This year at CES, they're showcasing their new white PC cases, white fans, and even white hard drive cages. Step into the world of silent computing with Be Quiet at the link down below. All right, it's time to have a nice look at these new XPS laptops. This right here is the old one. It looks still pretty decent, but it was getting a little bit old in the design department. And Dell have been telling me that these right here are the most design forward laptops that they have ever made. Look at this right here. It looks, well, it looks a lot like the 13 plus that we had before, but it doesn't have a lot of the drawbacks. So, 
One of the things right here that I did not like about the 13 plus, put your hands on here, edge, super sharp, and your hands are hanging off of the back. 14 though, look at this. It's nice and comfy. Another thing that's not so great about the 13 plus is that, uh, no headphone jack, but look at this right here. We've got a headphone jack and the rest of the IO is pretty good too. Now we no longer have a full size SD card reader, but this little micro SD card reader, like the Alienware they say is as fast as they could get it. Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 4, and Thunderbolt 4. But very interestingly, even though the IO appears to be the same on the 16 inch, this guy right here is special. Well, it's only special on the 4070 version, but this will allow you to do NVIDIA Optimus directly to your display from this one right here. If you get the 4050 or the 4060 or the Intel Arc, you will not be getting that. That'll just be Thunderbolt 4. And also the 4070 version of this will come with a vapor chamber, whereas the other ones will be just coming with heat pipes and that reduces your total TDP by 10 watts. And uh, speaking of that, yeah, this right here gets a 4070 in it, in this little guy right here. And it isn't even one of those piddly little, barely a 4070 ones. It gets 60 watts for the GPU. The whole system can draw up to 80 at a time, which means you should actually be able to game half decent on this. For the CPU, we get up to an Intel Core Ultra 9 185H in the 16. In the 14, we get up to an Intel Core Ultra 9 or 7 165H. And this guy can also go up to an RTX 4050. For the RTX 4050 in the 14, we get up to 30 watts on that, 30 watts on the CPU, and 47 watts total, which means that even though it won't be the most powerful, I still think you'll be able to game pretty good, in particular because of the display. All of these get OLED, and the 16 and the 14 get up to 90 hertz, although it goes all the way down to 48 if you want to save some battery life. Speaking of displays, one of my largest complaints about the XPS 13 Plus was that when you get the OLED display, even though it looks absolutely beautiful, it kills your battery really, really hard, and they have a solution for that. Now in here, we have what they call a P OLED. So instead of having some nice glass right here on the front, it's actually plastic. One little point of clarification though, we won't have plastic on the screen. It will still be Gorilla Glass. Just the OLED itself is bonded to plastic. And I don't really understand why, but that allows them to double the brightness and have the power consumption. That's magic basically, but also that's the kind of magic that I want to see in my laptop. I don't know why the XPS team didn't give the Alienware team the memo that I'm gonna take their laptops apart, but they were kind enough to just do it for me so we can do whatever we want to these ones. Ha! ha. <laughs> oh, we dropped it, that's too bad. Anyway, what they are super proud about is if you look at this fan right here, this right here is the old XPS 15 fan. You can see not only is the new one larger, but they have these little tippy tips on the end, which do, why, why is that good? Turbofication. Turbofication. Sure. <laughs> but seriously though, it's all about surface area in these fans. So we have more blades, longer blades. We are going to be able to get a lot more cooling through these, but they haven't just improved these fans, but also how they work. So if we look at the old XPS 15, the intake is all along the bottom here, which has a couple of problems. The main one being, if you uh, put it on your lap like this, you are blocking the intake. It gets quite hot. Your chances of reproductive success goes down and it's just a general bad time not so in the new one so if you look right here it intakes from the side so even if you have it on like a blanket or something like that it might be successful draws it across all of the components in here hopefully cooling down your VR RAMs memory all of that stuff and then yeeting it out the back right here Oh, we're in here we can have a look at the upgrade ability so we can swap out our SSD right there and uh, that's about it Dell did you know that someone uh, created a low profile, swappable, super high speed memory standard? Anyway, they didn't use that, but they do have super fast RAM in here. This, when it's soldered down, can go up to 7467. 
Heck yeah, nailed it. That's a strange number and it's also incredibly high. So they presumably are able to do that because look at the distance between this core and those RAM chips. That does not have to travel very far to get you those sort of speeds. For the batteries, in the 14 we get a 69, nice 0.5 watt hour battery. In the 16 we get, oh dear, a 99.5 watt hour, that is just on the edge of how large you are able to get into one of these. And they're saying between the efficiency gains of the new Intel Core Ultras and the variable refresh rate of those displays, the battery life numbers should be better, but we'll have to test that ourselves, of course. What we can test now though, are the webcams. Dell has a new 1080p camera on their XPS line and they say it is excellent and frankly, the one on the 15 is not hard to beat. This thing uh, kind of sucks. We're gonna move around right here. It is grainy, it looks blown out, and it also looks underexposed at the same time. It is just a train wreck, especially when you compare it to, oh my God, it actually is a good thing right here. Look at this, I can turn around. Oh, even right there, it's figuring out the exposure with this right here, big bright light. My face still looks totally fine. I can spin around. It was hot there for a second, but it has figured it out. Dang, you guys actually might have done it. Look at that. It is, uh, is it smoothing or like, I feel like it's doing a little bit of filtering to my face, but compared to this hunk of junk right here, this is a nice big old improvement couple more things here. So the little capacitive touch stuff up at the top, apparently a lot of people complained on the 13 plus that uh, this just stays on all the time and it kind of sucks if you're watching a movie or something like that. So on the new ones, it just turns off after 10 seconds and you can choose if you want that behavior or the old stuff in the BIOS. Also, we have a co-pilot key right here, which I'm sure is going to age excellently, just like the Bixby key did. And finally, the speakers. So on all of them, we have two downfiring woofers, two little tweeters in the top, eight watts on the 14, 10 watts on the 16. So let's give them a little sniff. Oh, also the keyboard's great. Uh, it's the same as on the XPS 13 plus, but a little bit larger. This is pre-production. They don't know if the software is actually good yet. I think that needs to go back in the oven. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, the, the software for the audio is not on there. We will give them a break, just like I'm gonna give you a break. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hit like, get subscribed, and just have a great old day. All dead because they've got a whole new lineup here. This right here, it's the XPS 14, the 13. Yeah, we already have the 13 plus, but it's called the 13. That's